Good morning everyone, this is my first YouTube video and I'll be doing a review of the iPhone 5s and should you buy it in 2018. Now coming to the specs of the iPhone 5s, the iPhone sports a 4 inch display, uh, it has a 1.3 GHz dual core Apple A7 chip, the front camera is a 1.2 megapixel shooter and the rear camera is an 8 megapixel shooter. The display has a resolution of 640 by 1136 which gives it a dis display density of 326 ppi. Uh, the phone has 1 GB of RAM and is currently running iOS 11.2.6, the latest public release as the time of making this video. Uh, the phone came in uh, 16 GB, 32 and 64 gigs. And the phone in this video is a 16 gig iPhone 5S. Now coming to the design of the 5S. In 2018, where most of the phones are all bezel-less, going towards bezel-less, the, the design of the 5S does look a bit outdated. Uh, the iPhone SE also uses the same shell of the iPhone 5S. In my opinion, it's a pr pretty classic design. I uh, really love the way it feels in the hand. It's perfect form factor with 4 inches. Um, I also love the chamfered edges of the 5S, which we, I really do miss on the new iPhone SE and the new iPads, where it's all matte. Uh, the chamfer edges really make the phone stand out and um, talking about durability of the device it is pretty durable but it doesn't have the 7000 series aluminum which the iPhone 6s has and all the iPhones above it so if you drop it you will have quite a nasty dent and also the chamfer edges um, they do get scratched pretty easily this phone has been in a case throughout its life, so I don't have a lot of scratches, but as you can see right there, there are a couple of nicks in the chamfer edges, even though this phone hasn't been dropped, but they are pretty easy to scratch. Overall, uh, looking at the back of the phone, um, the glass inlays are perfectly mint condition. They don't have any scratches, they're pretty good. And the Apple logo also tends to scratch a bit easy. Uh, but uh, the phone came in three colors, gold, space, gray and silver and I think all of them do a pretty good job at hiding fingerprints. You know? Now coming to software, the iPhone 5S does run iOS 11 and does support the latest iOS 11.2.6 but the device I have, I have not updated, it's still 11.2.1. .1. The 5S will also support the latest up upcoming 11.3. In my opinion, iOS 11 would be the last and final software for the iPhone 5S before Apple drops support. Uh, as because if you go according to Apple's patterns, the iPhone 4S will, had last support on iOS 9 and the iPhone 5 on iOS 10. So it does make sense that the iPhone 5S will have its last support on iOS 11 since it's already five years old. But there are rumors that the 5S might also get iOS 12 since iOS 12 be a pretty minor update and would not focus a lot on new features but would focus on increasing stability and usability of the phone so it might come to the 5s but personally i doubt so we might be expecting 11.3.x to be the last and final update for the iphone 5s before apple drops nice. support um, ios 11 on the iphone 5s does run pretty decently it's not great and it's not a thrill to use because you will have a little bit of slower app loading times compared with the newer iPhones or even the iPhone 6s. Um, um, the 5s does run iOS 11 okay. You will have to wait for a couple of apps to load. For example, if you're going to open the camera, you will have to wait a little bit until the entire app loads, even for Apple Music. You will have to wait a couple of seconds before the entire app loads. Uh, Web-based apps, talking about the App Store, as well you gotta wait a little bit until everything loads up and it's not such a smooth experience but you can live with it it isn't unusable like how the iphone 4s is on ios 9 or the iphone 5 and ios 10. the 5s is pretty okay uh, for third uh, for main apps from apple it's pretty decent but when it comes to third party apps you will notice the lag for example facebook takes a pretty long time to open up and load up then we've got Instagram as well, takes a little bit of time. You see, you gotta just wait for a bit. There you go. Uh, coming to Safari, Safari does load all websites uh, according to today's standards, but you have to wait as Safari is updated. 
So if you go to apple.com, it does take quite a bit. Day-to-day -day tasks, the phone is pretty okay, it's responsive. But if you're gonna do heavy multitasking, if you're gonna play heavy games, you will notice the lag. Especially, I have noticed a lot of lag when it comes to Twitter. It does take quite a bit to open up. Still waiting, there we go. Coming to multitasking on the 5S, it isn't a great experience because the phone has just got one gigabyte of RAM. So most of the apps will reload. Um, depending on what you are doing. If you're going to do heavy multitasking, I highly do not recommend this phone because with just one gigabyte of RAM, it's a really frustrating experience. In terms of the camera on the iPhone 5S, the front camera is 1.2 megapixel camera and the rear camera is an 8 megapixel accompanied by the dual LED flash. Now in terms of picture quality on the iPhone 5S, the camera is a pretty good camera. It, you get decent photos, especially if you're in well-lit conditions, whereas in artificial lighting conditions, the camera does tend to lose a bit of focus and your photos do tend to come out a bit grainy. In terms of feature set on the camera, you've got all the popular modes, photo, square, pano, as well as video, uh, video slow-mo and time-lapse. Uh, but you do not have the latest features, uh, such as the new 8 Plus and the 10 Do with the new lighting effects. You do not get um, live photos and all the new stuff. but uh, the photos are pretty good and it does record um, video pretty well. The phone does not have OIS, so you do not have optical image stabilization. The camera does record video at 720p HD at 30fps and 1080p HD at 30fps. Regarding battery life on the iPhone 5S, the phone supports a 1570mAh battery. Um, in today's standards, it's pretty hard to get through the whole day with that small for battery. Uh, if you're a pretty light user who just uses the phone for phone call, maybe an SMS and a mail here and there, you can make it throughout the entire day. But if you're a medium or a heavy user, then you would need to top up the phone at least twice throughout the day. Um, how has iOS 11 affected the battery performance of 5S? Yes, I have noticed a uh, dip in uh, battery life with iOS 11. Um, um, but one great feature which the phone has is low power mode. Um, even though um, the phone does support a pretty small battery, but with low power mode enabled, um, you will be able to get through the entire day. For example, I usually take the phone off the charger 9 a.m. and I am able to make it throughout the day till maybe 4 or 5 p.m. with low power mode enabled. But the issue with low power mode is that um, it hits performance of the phone and you lose out on features such as mail refresh and background app refresh. Um, the problem is that the phone already has pretty laggy performance and if you're going to enable low power mode you will also increase the lag and you lose out on performance. For example just look at how easily the control center responds without low power mode enabled. The moment you enable low power mode it tends to lag up. You can see the drop in performance the drop in frame rates. Even the platter takes quite a while to open. Apps take a longer time to respond, so it's not a pretty good experience. But um, the phone is okay. I suggest you carry a battery pack along with you because you would need to top up this phone at least twice throughout the day. My verdict regarding the iPhone 5S and should you buy it in 2018, I highly recommend that you do not buy this phone in 2018 as iOS 11 could be its final software this year and Apple would be dro soon dropping support for this phone in September once the new iPhones come out. Um, if you are really keen on getting a 4-inch iPhone because of its one-handed uh, pocketability and use, um, then I suggest you get the iPhone SE or the upcoming iPhone SE 2. Um, otherwise, that's it guys. Thank you for watching my video. And uh, please like and subscribe and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I will see you in my next video.